Hi Floss Tube, welcome back to Cross Stitch Revival. I'm Crystal Rowe and this is Floss Tube number 13. As you can see, there has been a set change. It looks very different. I am at my mom's apartment. I am over here, this is Monday night, um, March 8th, and I'm helping her do some laundry. So you may hear the washer and dryer because I'm in her dining room. And I am right next to the laundry room right here. So. <laughs> Um, the sound is a little bit different over here because it is, uh, you know, there's not a lot of like rugs and curtains and things to absorb the sound. Not a lot of junk like at my house. So I do apologize if there's a, any echoing or any kind of weirdness with the sound. On the other hand, my sidekick is back at the house. So you shouldn't see me um, looking out the corner of my eye unless it's my, at my mom's Yorkie, <laughs> which is in the bedroom with her. She's in her bedroom watching TV, which I hear his little collar. He might be coming down the hallway now. But anyway, she has a little four pound. He's about four and a half pound, a uh, miniature Yorkie. That's her baby. So hopefully the lighting is okay. I can see I have lots of wonderful shadows on my face, but as long as you guys can see the stitching, that's all that matters. And I'm gonna get to it because I have a ton of stuff to show you guys because of March Stitchy Madness. And let's get started. So I want to welcome any new subscribers to my channel. Um, thank you for joining me. I know there's so many floss tubes my mom just walked by. <laughs> She's not used to this, so. Uh, what do you think, Mom? I haven't heard, but for a little. <laughs> what do you, do I look funny doing this? No. Okay, she said, no, I don't look funny. Um, anyway, uh, there are so many Flossy channels that you can spend your time with, and I appreciate you spending your time with me. So. First of all, before I get started with the March Stitchy Madness, I'm gonna go over what I worked on before that. And the first project that I worked on since my last video is I continued with um, the Sew by Row Sal with Fat Quarter Shop by Lori Holt, and it's so Emma. And what I did is I'm doing this on 25 count Cloud Lugana, and wow, that light really shows all my wrinkles. <laughs> um, I finished my sewing machines. I do have my ring light because that's what my phone is attached to, but when I turn it on, as I've said before, you can just, it reflects in my glasses, so that's why I don't have it on. Um, so I finished my sewing machines, and then I've started on the next row. And that's as far as I got with that. I love that. I'm really excited to finish that and get it framed in my sewing room. Um, I don't want to let this languish because, or a sewing room. I can't wait to get it framed in my dining room, which is our sewing room, our dining room, our home office, and our homeschool room. Um, yeah, I don't have a sewing room. <laughs> anyway, the next one was a new start. And. This is part of the style, and I, I can't remember the hashtag. It is a Madame Chantilly style that Evelyn Across the Pond, um, who has a floss tube channel and an Instagram, she's hosting with Georgia Girl Stitching. I started uh, Madame Chantilly's The Celebrate Spring, and their style is for any of the Madame Chantilly Celebrate patterns. And... This was really funny because I have always loved these patterns, um, all of them in the series, and I have never actually seen a floss tube where someone was stitching one. I always saw, saw where it was part of a haul, or I've just looked at it on a website, and um, I had no clue how big they were. When I pulled my fabric for this, and I started counting my stitches, which by the way, the fabric I chose was um, a Bestitch Me, let's see, it's blue, yeah, it's picking up pretty well. Wow, this this uh, bright light in my mom's apartment is picking up every imperfection. I can see my face and my arm, my cellulite, everything. Um, 
This is Winter Blues, and I love it. This is a 20, uh, this is a 28 count Lugana from Be Stitch Me. And this was from a Friday Night Fight Night. So I was in the Be Stitch Me Fabric of the Month Club. I did that for about four or five months and I received some beautiful fabric in that club. I was signed up for the 27 count Linda, but I did cancel the club because it was, um, I was accumulating the fabric, but I wasn't using it at the time. And I just thought, you know, it's beautiful, but I wanted to spend that money on some things that I knew that I needed to kit, kit things up with, basically, if that makes sense. So I did drop out of the club, but I love the Bestitch Me fabric. Every piece that I have is beautiful. The, the coloring is beautiful. The feel of it's beautiful. And this is wonderful stitch with. So I got my bird in and the beginnings of a flower. And I'm telling you, I honestly thought this was going to be like this big. I thought that it would be just a little bit bigger than this. And obviously it's not. It's going to be a really big pattern. So um, that was a shock. <laughs> So if you're like me and you didn't know that those Celebrate um, tiered tray patterns were as, as that big, now you know. Thankfully, my fabric was big enough that it, you know, that I could fit the whole piece. So the next thing that I started before March Madness was um, a new start that I wanted to do to have some Easter stitching. And that was um, Cottontail & Co. by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I purchased this PDF from FatQuarterShop.com. And I did not have the called for color, so I just went through my stash of um, classic color works and picked, this is what my, <laughs> it's wadded up. I picked four colors. I picked Really Tilly, Eve's Leaves, and the two oranges that are mixed up, but I know, y'all, let's, let's just um, hashtag uh, real life right there, was Candied Yams, and oh, the other one is actually not Classic Color Works, it's Color and Cotton Salamander. That is the darker color, Salamander. Can you see that? So, they're all mixed up, whatever, I made a mess. I'm stitching that on piece of 25 count Cloud Lugana and this is as far as I've gotten. I just got started on the middle bunny and um, so I just started on just the middle of that bunny. So that's what I did before I got into March Madness. If you don't know what March Madness is you're about to find out. I think if you watch my foster channel, you probably know. So, where I got the March Madness idea from was um, Janet Jabber, who I love. She's another floss tuber. And she was explaining that the Steel City Stitchers, who are on another floss tube channel, were, were um, had this idea to do March Stitchy Madness in the form of a bracket like March Madness, the basketball tournament. And so what the way I decided to do it, it basically they said, hey, um, they have a whole video explaining the way, you know, they set up their brackets. You could do it any way you want to. It's just meant to be fun. It's, it's not, um, you know, there, there are no rules. It, it's just however you want to do it. So the way I'm doing it is I picked eight um, projects, mostly whips, a couple starts, and I put um, put them head to head, and the winners of like day one and two, and then I put a poll up on Instagram, so vote for those two projects, days three and four, five and six, and then seven and eight. Today is the eighth day, so um, I'm not sure when this video will be put on YouTube, but today is March 8th that I'm filming. And I will post that on Instagram, and whichever um, of that wins will be the final entry into my final four. And then 
I will stitch those and then those winners will move on until the champion and the champion I will I will work on until I finish it in the month of March so it's just a fun way to get out whips that I normally would just kind of ignore for something that I'm just you know a little bit more excited about in the now but something that I really do want to get done so I have really 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 enjoyed getting these whips getting these whips out and working on them most of them some of them I was like I don't know but um, it's been really fun it's been fun to vote on Instagram on other people's um, polls I have tried to vote on as many as I possibly could it's I've used the hashtag SCS March Madness 2021 which is the hashtag that the Steel City Stitchers um, share so I'm just trying to get out there and vote and support other stitchers and you know see their work and it's so cool because you get to see so many patterns and fabrics and combinations that you normally wouldn't see so it's, it's been a lot of fun so let's get started the day one project was a new start and this was a chart that I picked up from Heartstring Samplery called Let Your Light Shine. I bought this on Etsy. I had never seen this chart before and I was in, I was on my, one of my favorite Etsy shops called Stash LLC. And I was looking for something else and I saw this chart and I just fell in love with it because it reminded me of my son. If you don't know, um, my son does have autism and he has ADHD. He's 10 years old and I do homeschool him. So, you know, I feel like this is something I'm always trying to instill in him is to be who you are. Don't be afraid, you know, of any kind of label. You know, your autism, um, yes, you're different but not less, which is, you know, is a common slogan for autism. You're different but not less and let your light shine. So be true to yourself. You know, you don't have to conform to anything. So I wanted to stitch this and hang this up in our dining room where he could see it every day. And I love this. And also in this chart pack, she included this, um, this graphic that I wanted to frame too. I love that. Um, I guess it's hers. I don't know there's no but it's beautiful it's on the flip side of the back of the chart pack that has the information so anyway I picked chalk the cod four was gunmetal linen um, I picked chalkboard black 14 count Ada because I have a ton of this because I like stitching with the housewives patterns for it and I started the light bulb, so that's as far as I got on day one. And I'm gonna be real with you, and that the yellow is, it's not really showing up. It is a bright yellow with a little bit of a greenish, greenish blue tint to it. It's awesome. Um, it's so much more bold in person. I wanted this to win. <laughs> it was so special to me, and I picked a pattern that I purposely thought would not beat it. Well, the people voted. They did not agree with me. The people did not like my Let Your Light Shine as much as they liked the next one. <laughs> not that I didn't like this pattern. Obviously, I liked it enough to buy it. I thought it was super cute. It's Cottage Garden um, Samplings Hop in the Spring. I mean, I liked it enough to buy it. I wanted to stitch it, but I was like, oh, what's something I could throw in there that wouldn't win? <laughs> so, um, I chose another Be Stitch Me fabric that I had from my club, and this is um, the 27 count Linda and Peanut. And it's a very, very, very pretty color. The light is washing it out a lot, but this is as far as I got on that little guy, the little um, 
the little bunny. He's cute as a button. I'm using some of the Call 4 colors, but some of them I didn't have, so I just substituted, um, you know, things that were close enough. And this little guy won. He beat out my light. So he's advancing to the final four, and that's okay. And the Let Your Light Shine, it stitched up so quickly that I got that light bulb done in the morning, and I worked on something else. I think it was the Cottontail & Co., um, the three rabbits from Cherry Hill Stitchery. Oh, and I meant to mention this when I talked about that pattern. Um, if you have not seen it already, Cherry Hill Stitchery has a really great floss tube channel. She doesn't have a ton of videos, but her videos have a lot of different finishing instructions. And um, it just popped up in my suggested uh, videos and I've started watching it and there's a lot of really, really good videos on there. So check that out if you haven't already. That's Cherry Hill Stitchery Floss Tube. So, March Madness Day 3. I chose Michael's Prayer. This is in my Dot Dot Goose Design bag that I love. And this is by Silver Creek Samplers. And I'm stitching this um, as a memorial to as for the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I love this. This is on 25 count oatmeal Lugana. Um, I had a lot of, more of this border done in this direction that I had to unpick because I had missed a stitch. So I frogged that out and just decided not to work on that anymore. I added the flag and I started on the angel and that's as far as I got on that one. So that was day three and um, because this is a 25 count, let me zoom in on that. The blue stitches are not getting full coverage so when you look at this in person, um, you know, it, it it doesn't, I don't know, it bothers me a little bit, like the stars and the flag, it's not even really showing up as much. Okay, that means I'm being silly and I need to stop. Because if it's not showing up for you guys, I need to quit looking at it in person. Um. <laughs> All right, let me put this back in the bag. So Michael's Prayer went up against Nativity Row. And by Bent Creek. This was a day that I didn't have a lot of time to stitch. I was really busy this day. I was helping my mom with a lot of stuff. And I just got a little bit of time before bed. And basically, I had all of this already stitched except for I did about 75% of the angel, put his harp in, and I did the two stars. And that's all that I was able to stitch that day. So, those two went head to head and Nativity Row is moving on. I love this. So, and like I said, I'm, you know, I'm just happy to get to stitch on all these because they were just sitting on my uh, whip shelf just collecting dust, which is sad. So, this, this is a good way um, to get through some of these things. And I definitely uh, would like to do this again next year. Alright, so... Day five, this is where it all went wrong. Dun dun dun, I get a drink of water. All right, so day five was actually my anniversary. So my husband and I made plans. And one of those plans was uh, going to a cross stitch store, which I'll talk about it in a minute. And the project that I chose for that day, I picked a, I picked a project that I thought would be um, something that I could stitch in the car, you know, take with me. And um, that was Rudolph and Mr. Claus. Um, and this is a PDF that I bought from Stitching with the Housewives. And it's from their Tip of the Season series. Okay, this little guy, this is so sad. Well, we were just too busy. I mean, we were running around doing stuff and I didn't have time to stitch at all. 
So basically, all I did was put in the stitching from about, I did like two rows on his beard and this white stitching. That's all I did. Because um, this was just a small start that I had. I just had about that much in. And that's all I got in for the whole day. Um, and my white stitches were really bad because I was just exhausted. I was exhausted. And normally I wouldn't care. I wouldn't even pick it up. But I thought, I have to stitch something because it's March Madness. And I have to put it on Instagram for my poll. So I put it in. Then it was sad. It was sad little stitches. So, I thought about DQ and Rudolph and Mr. Claus because I get, didn't get much done. And I put up a poll. I said, hey, I need you guys to help me out. Should I DQ this guy because I didn't get much done? And everybody voted and they said, no, don't DQ him. Well, three people said DQ him. But that wasn't enough to win. So, he stayed in the competition. And he went up against um, Santa Baby. Uh, and if you couldn't tell, that's on another piece of 14 count chalkboard black. Santa Baby is um, from It's So Emma. It was the December um, Stitch Quarterly. So, when I pulled this out, I literally had maybe 15 stitches in this guy. 20 at the most. And uh, what I did with him was I had already lined, gridded out the, the fabric, which is 14 count, minty green or mint green opalescent Ada, which came with the, the kit, which is part of the stitch quarterly. <clears throat> and it's not showing up very well in this light, but it is more mint green in person. Um, but I gridded it out because when there is that much um, stitching of all of one color and then just little like the dark charcoal that's thrown what thrown throughout I knew I would mess up my stitches I'm not that good at counting so I used my friction pen did the grids well I tested it in a corner to make sure when I ironed it out it would iron out of the green and it did so the friction lines made it so much easier to stitch so I got his eyes in so I decided that this would be a good travel kit. So I think I'm gonna keep this in my car for when my son, he has therapy once a week, his physical therapy. And I thought this would be good to take because it's already gridded out. It's huge blocks of color. So I can just put, you know, a couple strands of floss in and eventually it'll get done. So I think that's gonna be my travel travel thing anyway so santa lost or santa baby lost and rudolph and mr claus won so rudolph and mr claus advance to the next round all right yesterday day seven was the love my stitching bag and i don't have the cover for this anymore but I think you guys will recognize this. If you don't, this is a collaboration between Hands On Design and So Much To Love, Karen Torres. Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop, she has one of these bags. She has it in the original colors of like red and turquoise. And I chose Black Coffee, Colonial Copper, and Queen Bee from Classic Color Works. And the reason that I chose those colors is because this is the fabric that I have to make my bag out of. So it coordinates with that. Yeah, sewing machines and things like that. So where I was with this is I had the first two rows done. So yesterday I put it in a third row. Put in the sampler with the ABC. I guess that's like a tree. <laughs> I don't even know. It says motif and then the rick rack and the heart. So I only have one more row and this stitch is so fast. It is absolutely ridiculous that I haven't finished this. I mean, I had a lot of other things going on yesterday. I could have finished this whole thing yesterday if I didn't um, get into doing some other stuff. 
it's that fast. I mean, it's crazy that I didn't finish this. It's just laziness on my part, really. So, today, my final day in going up against the Love My Stitching Bag is one of my, sorry, I heard that sound outside, is one of my other favorite projects, which is Halloween Parade by the Blue Flower. And it says, strange things are seen on Halloween and it has pets in costumes. I love, 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 love this. Oh, and the Love My Stitching pattern, I'm stitching on Antique White 28 Count Monaco that I did not dye. And this still has a needle in it. Because <laughs> I literally grabbed this off my stitching table to bring over here. Let me fix my needle. This is on Coffee Tea Dyed 28 Count Monaco. It's all wrinkly. So what I've been working on today is I had everything done already that you see except for I only had the wings and a couple stripes. So I'm working on the white dog and his um, bumblebee costume. So, and if he's super cute. I'm gonna show the picture again so you can see him up close. Hopefully that will focus. He has antenna. Hopefully you can see that. So, I love this project. When I get home tonight, I will post it to my Instagram for, um, and I'll probably go ahead and put my poll up for the final voting for the final four. So that's all my stitching. That's a lot of stitching. That is 11, 11 different projects to, to show. So, if you have no clue what all this March Madness stuff is, but you are on Instagram and you would like to vote, my Instagram name is Crystal Rowe. I spell Crystal with a K. It's the same as my YouTube name, so just look at the YouTube description box and you can check that out. So, in the hashtag, I'll put it up on the screen, it's hashtag SCS March Madness 2021. All right, another drink. <laughs> All right, so today in the mail, um, the last giveaway winner, Serena, she sent me a beautiful thank you card with a note, and she also sent a monetary gift, which was, I mean, Serena, you didn't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. And she said it was for shipping or buy something else. So I will use it for um, future giveaway shipping. And, um, you know, that's much appreciated. And Serena, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy um, your giveaway items. So now on to haul. I have a lot of haul. Um, first, I'll go over a regular haul. Then I'll talk about going to the cross stitch store which is the first time I've ever been to cross it store. All right, so I'm doing Santa's Village and I finished the, um, the first one in the order that I'm stitching it. So the next one that I'm in my order is um, the post office, North Pole post office. So I know there's a lot of glare there. So I ordered this so I could get started on that. When I'm going to have time to do that, I don't know. That's the thing about the March Madness is I have to kind of reconfigure everything I was working on. But in the big picture, you know, it'll be fine. So, North Pole Post Office. Another thing I picked up was I got this at the dollar store for my son. It is just a kid's cross-stitch kit. And... We do some hands-on activities during homeschool, and I thought this would be fun for him to try because we, I like to do fine motor skills activities with him because he's always struggled with that. So this is uh, good for him. And also, they had an Easter egg, but it was like this big, and I knew that was too much for him. But for the cross, you know, you can make a cross any size you want. So if he wanted to just do like a little bit like this, 
he could still do it and feel like, you know, he finished it. And, um, I just thought that would be fun. And it's a dollar. I mean, if he decides he doesn't want to do it, I can give it to someone else, you know, who wants to do it with their child. So I picked that up at the dollar store for him. I received, um, I'm in the Annabella's, which is an online, um, cross stitch and fabric store on Etsy and I believe they also now have a brick and mortar store in Florida in Lake Worth Lake Worth Florida I'm in their classic cup classic color works floss club that they just started it's three skeins a month and this month I re or this past month I received a hayride which I had never seen before and it's green and brown. It's a very interesting color. The other one was Little Sprout, which I use all the time for stitching with the house wash project, so I always need this. And the next one is Snowball. So, and when I do the stitching with the house wash projects, I do use Classic Color Works mostly, but I do not use it for the, like, chalkboard. I always use 3865. DMC because I don't want to buy like $30 worth of classic color works to stitch all that white. So um, I always use the 3865 for chalkboard stitching. So for the snowball, it is a nice bright white. It's kind of like a B5200, I think. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what I would use it for because I do typically use DMC for whites. But, um, we'll see. <laughs> so that's Annabella's. They, she did 25 spots. So if you're interested in that, if someone drops out, you, there's an Annabella's Facebook group. And then there's the Annabella's shop. I will link it in the description box so you can check it out. So I just, I'm in another floss club, but I use a lot of classic color works. And it's impossible to get in the one in Fat Quarter Shop, so that's why I joined these. You pretty much have to be grandfathered in to get in the one in the Fat Quarter Shop. This is the second floss club that I'm in. This is from um, Crazy Annie Stitching, and it comes in this pink bag. This is the second month that I've gotten it. This is for February, and I got pinks for February. And sorry, the lighting is washing these pinks out. I'll try to put it up against this envelope again. Um, so I received Miss Madeline. I've never had this color before. Spun Sugar. That's a new one for me. It's a really pale. Um, House Wine. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. It's showing up more per. Oh, yeah, there we go. Little Pink Peony, I use this one a lot. Pink Champagne, that's a new one for me. And Second Hand Rose, that's really pretty. So, I like all of those. Little Pink Peony is the only one I've used before. And that's from Crazy Annie Stitching. Um, Okay, I have seen this being stitched on a couple channels and for some reason it wasn't clicking for me that it was a sew along or stitch along. I saw it on Mama Loves You GB on her channel and she had changed the color, the hair color of the girl to, to gray or silver and it was beautiful. That's where I first saw it and I thought it was just a regular chart that she had changed. I didn't realize it was a, a, a sow. Then I saw it on um, a channel that I came across called Stitcherista, and which I'm totally obsessed with now because I can sit there. I don't know if you've ever seen Stitcherista. I don't know how I've never heard of this channel before, but she's, I guess now she does more diamond painting, which I don't do, but she also stitches and she reads true crime, true crime stories. So I sit there and stitch and I listen to the true crime stories. But she does uh, use, she does curse on her channel. 
So I use earbuds because um, my son, if he hears a curse word, he will say it like 500 times. So <laughs> um, I do use my earbuds on her channel. So anyway, this is it's the Barbara Anna Designs Dreaming Girl. And I picked this up from the creativepoppy.com website. And then, I, I don't know. I have seen a lot of Barbara Anna designs, but I guess most of the ones I saw were more like little fun stitches. I hadn't seen a lot of her bigger designs, and I just fell in love. I was going nuts looking at her um, patterns. I actually bought another one that I have forgot to bring with me. I'll show it next time. And, um, I just, I just fell in love with Barbara Anna. I mean, I just can't believe how beautiful her patterns are and that it took me this long to discover them. So, I'm excited about this. I ordered, um, I ordered that blue fabric because I just, I really love the blue, the colorful fabric. So, I went ahead and ordered that. So, when I get that in the mail, I will go ahead and start that out. And then I was watching, oh goodness, what is her name? She's so popular. You guys know her. Everybody knows her. She's like one of the most popular floss tubers. And she designs. And I'm completely drawn a blank. Bendy Stitches. Okay. Sorry. I was watching Bendy Stitches. I had never watched her before. And the first one I watched to her, she was showing this chart. And I think she had pulled it for maybe March Madness or something. And I fell in love with this. It's Boobies Apiary from Artist Designs. And so I got that. <laughs> I love it. I was so enabled. It is crazy. And I think, I think that's all that I have from that. Okay, so Needlework Expo, as everybody knows, was this past weekend. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get one chart. And the one chart I allowed myself was Liz Matthews Butterfly Cloche. So I did pre-order that through, I actually pre-ordered it through Keepsakes um, in Ohio. And... I ordered the Cod 4 fabric. Well, I ordered the even weave version of the Cod 4 fabric, which is picture this plus bramble. And I ordered it from um, Pumpkin. Oh my goodness. Pumpkin Creek Prim. Who I have seen other people order stuff from her on Floss Tube and talk about how awesome she is. And let me tell you what she is. And she sends this like little thing of tea and buttons with stickers and is the cutest stinking thing I've ever seen. And she sends um, black tea. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. And this is the call for fabric. And of course, it does not show how beautiful it is. Um, this is the 32 count. Picture this pleasant bramble. You just, this lighting is not showing. It is absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to stitch that pattern. And of course, I'm a big fat liar because I didn't just limit myself to one pattern. I bought two more because I'm a big fat liar. So, I ordered the Liz Matthews Butterfly Cloche. And I'll put a picture here since I don't have the pattern. And there were a couple more I really wanted, and I kept going back and forth, back and forth, because I had gotten a lot of haul lately, and I had ordered a lot of patterns lately, and I kept saying, Crystal, don't do it. You don't need it. You can wait. Those patterns aren't going anywhere. Just wait a couple months. Wait till your birthday. Wait till Mother's Day. Wait. Well, I didn't. I think I got them at like 1 o'clock in the morning and pre-ordered them on Etsy. So... I pre-ordered uh, one of Teresa Kogut's new patterns. I'll put the picture up here. It's, it's uh, 
peacemaker, the Peacemaker Angel pattern that I fell in love with. And then I also pre-ordered um, Kathy Barrick's, I don't know the name of it, I'll put the picture up. It's a mul multiplication sampler. And I ordered that, just, I don't know, it really just like got to me as um, a homeschool mom. And we just started multiplication this week and it was horrible. It went horribly. My son had a fit. He was so upset. And he does really well with math, but he thinks he doesn't. So he just struggles with the self-confidence. And it was just like, oh, it was just horrible, horrible, horrible. But I love that chart, and I want to see that chart. Um, it's beautiful. So those are my Needlework Expo pre-orders. <sighs> okay. So now on to my trip to the Needlework store. Okay, so on my anniversary, my husband and I, we went to, um, I, we live in a small town, and we drove about an hour and 15 minutes away to a larger town, and there is a, there's a beading slash cross-stitch store, it's called Panda's Crossing in Greenville, South Carolina, and I'd heard about it, but I had never been there, so I was very, very excited, but we had a list of other places we wanted to go, so unfortunately, it was our last stop of the day, Excuse me, and I was really tired when I got there, but I was, um, I was like jazzed. In fact, I was a little over jazzed. I kind of lost my mind a little bit. And we had went to lunch, and I had had a coffee after lunch. I got to go coffee, and I swear, I think that coffee must have been like, it must have like four shots of espresso in it. I was like, as if you watch um, Brendan the Serial Starter, Laura says hepped up. I was hepped up. I walked in those doors and I thought my heart was going to be out of my chest. I was so excited. I couldn't hardly talk. I was shaking. I was a mess. I mean, it was like Disneyland for me. So anyway, so I go in and I did have a goal. Um... My goal, and actually I forgot about another chart that I bought. <laughs> um, if I bought, um, I, I think it's called, goodness, what is it called? It is a wild, Whilst Iris Snaps chart. And Mama Loves UGB did a like 6,000 subscriber giveaway and it was one, she showed it on her channel and I fell in love with it. And I did purchase that PDF from Whilst Iris Naps, so I had six flosses I need to buy for that, and then I also need to buy um, more flosses for my Winter Rose Manor because I talked about this in the previous video. I'm stitching it on 25 count Prim Lugana from Lori Holt, and I'm running out of floss because it is a higher count. It's like it's 12 and a half because I'm stitching two over two. So. I had to get that floss and I wanted, since I knew we were going to a needlework store, I wanted to try to get the floss there rather than order it online. So anyway, I go in there, I pick up my floss and I did get almost all of the colors that I needed. I had to order four online, they were sold out of. So this is all the floss that I got, which was for Winter Rose Manor. And you know, the risk that I took was different dye lots and some of them are very different. So one, I don't know if it's gonna show up on here. I'm gonna use this paper and see if it will show up. Um, one of them that's really different is Wood Rose by The Gentle Art. And So, that's a fuzzy. So these are two different dye lots, and as you can see, one is very brown, um, and the other one is more pinkish peachish. So I had, I don't think I've used that color yet in my stitching. So I'm gonna sit down with all the flosses that I have with the chart and figure out where I need to blend, um, 
which dye lots I want to use first, if I'm going to do that. I don't know. I don't think, uh, there, you know, I think that's probably one of the most drastic ones. Hopefully, you know, hopefully, you know, it won't be an issue, but, oh, you know, I didn't know. I'm a noob. I'm a newbie. I didn't know this was going to happen. So, lesson learned. Um, if you're going to stitch on something that's not called for, buy extra floss. Um, so anyway, I picked that up. Then I picked up the floss for the Whilst Iris Snaps chart. And next week I will show the fabric that I'm using for that. And this is the floss. The called for floss is which I love, 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 love. And I picked up some of the Lady Dots Creates. Um, Dang, got it. <laughs> I got the wrong thing. I thought I was getting the chenille. I got the pom poms. I'll still use it on something else, but I wanted the chenille. I was so excited. I didn't even look at it. I literally snatched it and threw it in my little bucket. Okay, well, I got licorice pom-poms, and I just figured out about the wrong thing. Okay, I wanted the chenille for, um, for a pillow that I need to finish. Whatever. Ugh, I was so excited. Okay, so I also, I picked up one chart. I was so overwhelmed, and there were so many beautiful charts. There were too many. I didn't know what to get. And my husband's, they had all these, they had these rocking chairs and like seats for the husbands or whatever. I mean, I hate to be sexist, okay? For the partners or for the friends or for anybody who may be in the store with someone like me who is freaking out and needs some extra time. So, even with that, I was looking through charts, looking through charts, and it was just too much. I was, I was like, <sighs> I was just so excited to be in a, be in a cross stitch store and have all these options and see all these charts that I saw online, but I was seeing in person for the first time. Um, they had some sample on the wall, but it's, I would say it's like more of a bead store or equally a bead store. So a lot of the floor space and wall space is dedicated to beading. So it wasn't like, you know, when you, you know, like a full blown cross stitch store where like the whole store is covered in, in model stitching. It wasn't like that. But even still, I was so excited I, to even look at the models. I was not even like, I was like a kid in a candy store. So I was having trouble picking out a chart for myself. Um, but I came across this chart and it was our wedding anniversary. And I told my husband, I was like, I think this is the one. So this is Silver Creek Samplers, and it is through the storm, through the storms, and it says no relationship, no relationship is all sunshine, but two people can share one umbrella and walk through the storms together. And then it has a place where you can put your anniversary. If you look at the bottom, you put your initials and your anniversary and all that. The only thing is, I'm not crazy about ducks. I'm not really a duck person. But I love everything else about the chart. And my husband really liked it. He liked the sentiment behind it. And, um, you know, we're the kind of people that are like, you know, marriage is tough. Um, it's not all sunshine and roses and it's a lot of work. So we both felt like the sentiment in this was pretty spot on, you know. So I got this chart. And then I asked the lady, I said, look, I've never stitched on 40 count. I see all these people stitching on 40 count and it's beautiful and I don't know if I can do it and I don't want to order a huge piece of 40 count and then totally hate it. I said, so can you sell me like a little piece of 40 count? So we looked at some of the stuff she had and I picked this out. Um, and it is Newcastle Linen. Um, it's just like a neutral color. So, I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to try some stitches, see what I think. 
It's not a huge piece. It's just a small little cut that she had. And I'm just gonna see how it feels. I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna try it out. If I hate it, then I haven't made a huge investment in a piece of fabric. And if I like it, it's enough to make, I don't know, a little ornament or something. So, um, it's 21 inches by six inches. So, we'll see. It was big enough for me to test, but not so big that I felt bad if, if I hate it. And also, there was a customer there. And if you're watching, I'm sorry that I acted so weird. <laughs> but she was a younger girl. I don't know how old she was, but you know, she was younger than me, I think. And I was just so excited to see somebody younger and she was checking out and I said, um, do you watch Floss Tube? And I had a mask on. So I was like, do you watch Floss Tube? And she's like, I don't really watch much TV and stuff. And I'm like, in my brain, I'm thinking, mm, TV, blah, 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 blah. But my mouth was like, what? You don't watch Floss Tube? Oh. And um, I said, do you know what Floss Tube is? And she's like, no. And I went with my mask <gasps> like that. And I know, I totally freaked this girl out. I'm so sorry, because, okay, this is what I did. The, the lady at the store gave me a piece of paper so I could write down my name, so I could give her my floss tube channel. And I wrote down, like, just keep stitching, stitching with the housewives. I told her to search floss tube number one, like hashtag number one, and I was like, it's gonna change your life. <laughs> I mean, how do you explain floss tube to somebody who doesn't know what floss tube is? When when you're acting like a crazy person in a cross stitch store, I mean, I was not acting like a normal person. She probably thought I was insane. And I'm sorry if you're watching this, I'm not insane, I promise. I was just really excited. So, um, I hope she did watch. I hope she did find a floss tube channel that she liked because there, there's so many awesome floss tube channels out there. So anyway, that was my trip to Pandas Crossing. It was awesome. I, I hope to go back. <laughs> my mom just walked by looking at me. Um, so I'm looking around. I don't see anything else I have to show you. My plans are to continue with the March, March Stitchy Madness. So whatever wins, I'm gonna continue stitching on. And um, I'll probably add in some of my current whips since, um, you know, it's getting a little bit later in that process. I'll probably try to stitch on some other things in the mornings. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Hopefully I'll get this video produced and up maybe Tuesday morning. I hope you have a great week of stitching. Bye.